Hey guys, this is Mehna. Today we'll do foundation design in Step 2000. So we'll do precisely isolated coating design. So before you know doing isolated coating design, you should ensure that the modeling is complete, fixed supports are assigned, and the analysis is also uh, completed. So after you do that, you make sure uh, these things. Okay. The next thing which you need to do uh, is you need to create some load combinations. So already existing load combinations I'll select and I'll delete these load combinations. So basically. In the soil, uh, we use a factor of safety of two point five. So that's why, when we design the footing, we don't take any factor of safety. We take a factor of safety of one, which is called the sizing factor of safety, or the unfactored uh, load combination. So we'll create some unfactored load combination like this. So I'll just uh, do U one. So U F is better. U F unfactored one and uh, dead load, and then uh, this in this I had taken the other wall load and other uh, other dead load. So dead load, and we have the live load. This is the first load combination, okay. Uh, and then add copy of combo U F two. Here we'll add uh, delete the uh, live load, and in this we'll just add earthquake load in x direction with a factor of one, okay. And click on okay, and then add. Add copy of combo, and uh, this will be U F U F three, and then this in this the earthquake load scale will be minus one, and click on add. Okay, this one and delete. So, so like this will create uh, you know unfactored load combinations for the footing. So there will be two uh, two more. Uh, I'll just add this and copy of combo. Here it will be EQ Y, right? Modify, okay. And uh, this one, I'm on a copy of combo. This one will be EQ Y, modify, and U uh, F four, and this one U F five. Three four five that is U F three U F three. So like this, the unfactored load combinations are added, and then click on OK. So now you can analyze the model, run analysis, and uh, just run it now. So uh, after the analysis is completed. We can see uh, the results here and it's completed. So we'll, we'll go to un unfact, you know, just uh, your show undeformed shape here. Display the undeformed shape and we'll go to the lowest layer, which is the foundation layer, and we'll display the labels here. Okay. So we'll go to define or sorry, view and uh, set display options and just click on labels and click on apply. So the labels we are seeing here now. So now, once we see the levels, now we'll go to display, display show tables and uh, joint reactions. You select this and you can select the load cases or load patterns also, okay? And you have this joint reactions for various combinations, okay? So now we can export this uh, table uh, in Excel. Yeah, so for simplicity, uh, again, I'm just uh, taking one load combination here. Okay, you can take, uh, actually you can take all the load combinations also. You can show tables and uh, here, show like load patterns, I am not, load patterns is okay, load cases. I'm only taking the first one, okay. Okay, and then click on okay. Okay, so uh, the first load combination that is for the dead load and live load I've taken. Now this is our table here. Now we can uh, buy, export the current table to excel so whatever spreadsheet program you have it will open it here so you can see uh, for example one and uh, this was this now you have this one here so like this for every support you have so now once uh, the excel is opened here okay so we can have a basic uh, thing to like kind of thumb rule to determine the putting size okay so first of all we need the SVC. Okay, suppose the SBC is 150 
you know kilo newton per meter square okay for that you need a soil test report sbc at a particular depth let's say sbc at 1.5 meter depth okay is uh, 150 kilo newton per meter square for the soil okay and then we need the load okay so load is in kilo newton and load will take from here that is uh, in this from this data this uh, this is our actually a load fz or f3 this is our uh, actually our load okay basically for putting consideration we consider the fz and the two moments here we consider okay load is variable here and area we need to find out so area will be in meter square area of the footing that's it that is so area of the footing area of the footing is equal to roughly load uh, divided by sbc divided by sbc okay this is the area of the footing and then the size if you consider a square footing, then it will be uh, square root of SQRT of this area. Okay, so just now we need to uh, put the load and we'll get the area. Suppose let's now uh, just group it. So let's create here uh, two groups. Okay, so the highest uh, you know load you can see is 488. So we'll take our 488, uh, which we have in a single group, and 341 also will take in a single group. And we'll just uh, move them yellow. 488 and 341. This yellow. And this 341 also will do yellow. Okay, I'm just grouping this. So this will be our F1, whatever the size uh, comes here. This will be F1. You can use uh, F, you know proper Excel sheet also for the design, just to check. Okay. So uh, maximum one will take it is 488. So let's take the load as 489, and it is coming area 3.826. So it is coming approximately 1.8 meters. So 1.8 meter size will take for that. Okay. So first footing size is decided 1.8 meter F1, and uh, F2 size 1.8 into 1.8 that is, and F2 size uh, maximum load uh, 224 224 and 224 so the f2 size is this one also will be yellow actually so f2 size is 224 let's so let's take 225 here so it will be 1.2 let's take 1.3 so two sizes we have considered 1.2 and 1.3 so let's give it a uh, depth calculation will take a lot of time but we'll just uh, let's give it a random depth of 0.45 and this one let's give it point 3, 5, okay, 350 and 450 we have considered here. So these are the data. So uh, now once we know that, now we can just uh, go get rid of the labels here. We can view, uh, set this option, just untick on the labels and okay. so now we don't need the labels. So now, first of all, we need to unlock the model, okay. Unlock the model like this, unlock, model unlock. So, We'll apply foundations here. So first of all, you have to define the foundation, foundation properties, add new foundation. So isolated footing, click on OK. And then uh, grade will go with M25, right? Length of the footing. And this will be our F1. So the F1 size was uh, one, you know, 1.8 into 1.8. So we'll go here, 1.8. And this one also. 1.8 thickness of the footing this is 0.45 uh, this is the depth of the footing actually not the uh, which you call so 1.8 if you take 100 mm cover also it will be inside of the mesh will be 1.6 so 1.6 and uh, the soil cover will take 1.5 meter depth okay now the layer properties you can just modify it from the uh, soil test report okay so <clears throat> i'm just uh, this is the uh, uh, subgrade uh, factor. So I'm just taking it equal to the separate modulus. You can just uh, take the proper value. I'm just taking it equal to the uh, you know, separate modulus, which is taken in ETFs uh, as well. So both I'm giving 1.5 since I don't have the soil test for this. Okay. So if the, if the uh, I'm just open the Excel and just to show you. So if the SBC is 1. Uh, 150 kilonewton per meter square and allowable settlement for isolated footing. Okay. Allowable settlement for isolated footing is uh, actually 30 mm 
and for mat and draft it is 50 mm. So if you feed mean meter, the 0 0.03. Okay. So if we just calculate 150 divided by 0 0.03, it comes at 5000. So change this uh, here and click on OK. So once this is done, and then we click on uh, OK once again. And then we add new foundation again. Okay. Isolated footing. So this isolated footing two okay. again M25. Same thing. So just open the Excel file. Uh, the next size is one point three to point one point three to one point. So one point three three one point three and this one one point three and the thickness point three five. Mesh size, if we just take 100 mm power, that will be 1.1. And soil depth will be same, 1.5. And uh, here, one is still 1.5. 1 1.5. 1 here, the values will be 5,000. And this one is also 5,000. This one, OK. And then click on OK. So this is done. So once the isolated footing is done, you go to the uh, foundation view. Okay, just go to the bottom view. Import zero. Select all the supports. Uh, assign joint and restraints, and then you have to uncheck all the restraints. So there are no restraints now since you apply foundation now. So let's go for the foundation. So now uh, we will just go to draw here we have the draw isolated footing and we have to select the isolated footing so we have the isolated footing isolated footing two now we need labels here okay so view uh, display option labels you just click on apply it okay so close so now we'll need the excel file and the labels. So let's go and apply the isolated footing to first since it is lesser in number. So it's 1, 13, 49, 61. So we'll just go isolated footing 2. It's 1. Okay. Then we have 13. 13. And then we have 1, 13, 49, and 61. So 40. 9 where is 49 uh, 49 and 60 61 so yeah this area is 61 okay so and all the remaining portions we have isolated putting normal first one okay so these two and all this and all this and this two. Let's wait and see in the 3D view if anything is remaining because my system is a little bit slow. If you have a quicker one, then uh, they should have not face any problems at all. So I think this row is remaining. Okay. So I'll apply it here. Just check. Okay. And one, do one by one. Now it is done. Okay, it depends upon the system. The quick system, you shouldn't have any problem. That's lower one. So, okay. So, this is uh, done. The uh, footing has been assigned. Two types of footing we have assigned. Now, we'll simply go to analyze and click on run analysis. Nothing to do. Run analysis. Click on run. So uh, the analysis will take some time, and then to view the results, it's best uh, you know you can, you can view the results like this. To view the results, is best uh, you just go to view and you go to set display options, and in the general options you go standard, and this is the best way to see it. So first of all, uh, let's focus only on the footings here. So for that, we'll just go to select and in the select, we'll buy properties 
and by area sections. And these two, which are the two floating sizes, we'll select them and close them and right click and then we'll just go show selection only. So only the footings are selected now. And now, first of all, we'll see the uh, deformed shape due to an unfactored uh, load combination here. So you can see the shape here. Okay. So again, we'll just close this and we'll just see the joints tabulated and you can see the values of the forces and if you want the arrows you can also see that in arrows also you can see the forces here like this we found and we found the uh, shape and after that you can just go see the soil pressure and for the unfactored load combination and you can just click on show uh, continuous contours and then click on apply and then close it and then see you can observe that so i'll if i lose you can check the limits also okay so like this you can check the soil pressure and then you can go and click on shells and here for the unfactored load combination or any load combinations i can just check the concrete design check the ast on the bottom so that's the most important thing and click on apply and click on okay so you can check the ast here 197 198 like this you can check the ast for all the members here so like this you know pretty much you can check uh, which are the members and how much steel will be required okay so you can check like this for all the footings so this is the basic concepts of the footing design in sap 2000 if you like the video definitely drop a like it really helps me a lot and keep learning and definitely put any kind of doubt and ask me in the comment section and lastly i'll just make this uh figure you know uh, just to get the figure of this so and i just click on show all and we'll go undeformed shape and we'll go to view and uh, we'll go to set display options and we'll see the general view extruded view of it okay so this is how the building looks like with the foundation here okay and you can also see the elevation view here also so i'm just clicking on here and let's go any elevation view you can see the elevation view or the 3d view here like this of the entire view so that's all thanks bye bye